What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're having a wonderful day, that's awesome, but if you're not, hopefully we'll be able to fix that. Since today we're going to be talking about the 8 Shark Tank deals that went terribly wrong. But before we get into the video proper, if you are a fan of Shark Tank, please let us know by hitting that like button and make sure to subscribe. If you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever we release our daily videos. Finally, if you've done all that, make sure to let us know in the comment section below so that you can be featured in a video shout out at the end of the month. And with all that said, let's go ahead and get right into the eight Shark Tank deals that went terribly wrong. Number one, sticky note holder. I have created a product that will keep your sticky notes in place and organized while working at your computer. A lady decided to pitch her product of a sticky note holder to the sharks on the show Shark Tank. The sticky note holder is a snap-on tray that you can attach to your laptop. With the space that the tray gives you, you should be able to attach sticky notes there, and having a whole bunch of sticky notes all over the laptop on the keyboard screen isn't really the best thing, so having a holder instead seemed to be a more optimal choice. The lady thought that her product of the sticky note holder was a great idea, and she asked for about half a million dollars for it and 20% in stock. One of the sharks called her out and said that she was completely out of her mind or otherwise delusional for wanting that much money to help her sell a product that honestly wasn't even that great. Another shark called her out and said that she was absolutely crazy. And the lady said that yes, she was indeed crazy. Another shark then went on to say, who would want to spend $10 million for a piece of plastic that holds post-it notes? The pitcher replied by saying that many people would want to buy her product. This is, of course, ignoring the entire point that many isn't exactly a quantitative term. She could be referring to three people, five people, or 500,000 people, and there's no way to tell. This is certainly one Shark Tank deal that did not go that well. Number two, no fly cone? Well, you see the flies that they accumulate, well, this, you don't see the flies until you actually look to see what you've caught. A guy in a straw hat decided to get rid of some pesky flies that he had around his house. So he made what he liked to call the no-fly cone. The no-fly cone is a cone that is sticky on the inside. It traps and sticks flies into the cone so that they can't escape and ultimately die. All you would have to do is place the cone over something like dog feces that flies are attracted to, but honestly, who would want to do that? He was asking for around $25,000 for a 15% stake in his company, and he even had the creator of Family Guy on to be his spokesperson. One of the sharks said that he was just creating a problem rather than getting rid of it by leaving feces out for the flies. And it's kind of true. If the flies aren't attracted to your house to begin with, then the feces will certainly bring them there. And if you've already got flies in the house, then the feces is just going to attract more flies and pests. This is certainly another deal that went wrong, mainly because it actually created more problems than it fixed. Number three, Squirrel Boss. Now we know squirrels are extremely cute, and they need to eat too. But they are five pound gorillas, and they are hogs. An older man had enough with the squirrels that he had at his house eating from his bird feeders. So he decided to show those squirrels who's boss by electrifying them with his Squirrel Boss bird feeder. All you do is point the control switch to the bird feeder, and with the press of a button, you can zap that annoying squirrel. He demonstrated to the sharks how it works by having them put their hands on the product. But there were a lot of downsides to this product. First, you have to be actively watching the bird feeder all day in order to manually zap the squirrel when it comes up. Secondly, the product could eventually just be used for animal cruelty. And third, the product was very expensive, and people just couldn't afford something like that. One of the appeals of a bird feeder is that it's relatively cheap and you can make them yourself, but if you've got something like this, you lose a lot of that appeal. Number four, Throx. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Edwin Heaven. I'm the creator of Throx, the cure for the missing sock. Edwin Heaven is a man who invented the sock Throx. Throx is a packet of three socks. The purpose of this product is to have three socks, so when you inevitably lose one, you've already got another one to complete your pair. The problem, though, is what would you do with the third sock until you need it? 
A shark asked if he was really trying to patent this product, and Edwin replied by saying that you can't patent a package of three socks. And the shark replied with, exactly. So he proved the point that this product would inevitably be a bust. Number five, track days. We're seeking five million dollars. Whoa. A lot of money in exchange for 34% equity in our production. Track Days is a movie that was going to be made if the pitch went through and the Sharks had to approve it before the movie could enter production. To this day, I still haven't seen this movie because it didn't seal a deal or even come close to making one with the Sharks. Two men decided to pitch their idea of that movie and tried to make it about a motorcycle sport. A motorcycle sport that isn't really well known to many people. Already hearing this, many of the sharks were iffy on the pitch. They made a trailer for the movie that looks like a PowerPoint presentation with words that appear on each segment. The trailer does not clearly tell what the movie is about, nor does it convey anything in the clips that show what we might even see in the film. One of the sharks asked if they had a script already, and both men said no, but that they were going to start on one once they got a deal, so they could assemble a team to make a script. The Sharks really weren't happy about this, especially when one of them told them that they wanted $5 million for the project with a 30% stake in the company as the value. No Shark wanted to invest in this and said that it was too much of a big risk. It was a giant risk of a movie that doesn't even have a script yet. No actors on board, nothing. Number 6, Cougar Limited. The Cougar. Modern. Mmm, sexy. Cougar Limited is an energy drink. An energy drink specifically formulated for older women. The Sharks thought that this really didn't make much sense. Why make an energy drink that's just for women, specifically older women? I mean, men could drink it too, but it's targeted to women specifically. I guess just for marketing reasons? By limiting the market to selling the drink to only women that were only at an older age, you're already niching your market very low. It ends up limiting the amount of customers that can even buy the product. One of the sharks tasted the drink and said that it tasted like chalk. Not a very good flavor for a drink. We know the jokes are already out there that energy drinks don't taste that good to begin with, and we understand. But that still doesn't change the fact that if your energy drink tastes like something dry and chalky, you probably want to drink literally anything else. You might be better off with a cup of coffee. And that's basically what the sharks ended up going with. There are better ways to keep yourself invigorated than tasting liquid chalk. Number seven, Waken Bacon. My product takes a unique approach on waking up in the morning. It's pretty much the only one of its kind. A guy thought that it was a good idea to make an alarm clock that wakes you up with the smell of bacon. He had brought a pig-shaped box where you can plug it in and set it on a nightstand to be awoken by the aroma of bacon. The alarm bakes the bacon in order to wake you up. The sharks pointed out that this could be a potential fire hazard. It can also end up leading to food poisoning since there's no one monitoring it. In order for the bacon to cook, you have to place the bacon in the alarm clock. Then you'd have to wait for hours for it to cook, and depending on how long you tend to sleep, you might be sleeping through the cooking period or wake up early. Leaving meat out of the fridge for a long period of time is just not a good idea. It looks like we won't be rising to the taste of fried swine anytime soon, except when mom's cooking in the kitchen. Then we get to rise to it instantly. Number eight, Ionic Ear. <laughs> You guys are so close-minded. Please let him finish. Okay. Thank okay. you. A well-suited man thought that his idea was a great idea, but honestly, who doesn't? The shark started to feel uncomfortable about his idea, though. The man was pitching a product called the Ionic Ear for $1 million. The Ionic Ear is a device where you no longer have to worry about putting in an earpiece for a Bluetooth connection to your phone. He thought that it was a great idea to place the device surgically into your ear canal, where you can always be connected to a Bluetooth device and will be able to hear it without the need for placing something into your ear, since it will already be there. Many of the sharks pulled out of this pitch once finding out that you had to charge the device by inserting a long needle into your ear to connect to the device. No doctor has approved of or deemed that this device would be safe for anyone to use. You can also imagine how uncomfortable it would be to have to insert a needle into your ear to charge something that you surgically put in. You're constantly breaking the skin and sometimes breaking the scar tissue over and over again just to keep your device charged. 
Honestly, we'll just take the earpiece. Sometimes the way of the future isn't exactly the way forward. So for this person at least, I'll continue to use my earpieces and my earphones and avoid delving into this science fiction junk that sounds like it's going to end up causing me several headaches. With that said, that has been the eight Shark Tank deals that went terribly wrong. Which one did you think went the worst? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to remember to subscribe and turn the bell notifications on in order to be notified whenever we release our daily videos. Finally, if you did subscribe, make sure to let us know in the comment section below so that you can be featured in a video shout out at the end of the month. With all that said, we hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one.